So here we are again in the flow interface and uh, we'll start with create new flow. Uh, this time we are looking at a new email that's coming in. So I'll just say new email and we'll choose Office 365. Okay, and so we are looking at emails that have attachments, right? So we'll say has attachment and include attachments is true. But then we are also, we're not looking at all emails with attachments. We're looking at emails from a specific person. Okay, so for that, we will add a condition. So I'll click the plus sign here and say add condition. Uh, and this is where uh, in the condition I say the from of the email, which is this right here, is equal to that person's email address. Okay, so I can just write that in here. Okay, so now if we have an email from that person uh, and that email has an attachment, then we want to create uh, a file in OneDrive. So we want to extract that attachment and uh, uh, put that in a OneDrive folder. Okay, so we'll now say add an action and I will say create file. OneDrive create file. So this is, uh, and since we are using OneDrive for business, so that's what you will use here. We'll choose here. All right. And now uh, within this, it will want me to navigate to the folder where I want the uh, the attachment to be stored. So again, I have uh, I have a different folder here. So let's say Venkat Project Files. This is where I want the. Uh, here, I'll do this again. This is where I want the uh, attachment to be saved. Okay, so I'll just choose this. And then what the file name is, I will just call it the, uh, we'll stick with the name of the actual attachment. So that's content right here. Uh, or is it name? Sorry, it's name. And file content is the actual content of the file or the uh, attachment. Okay, so this is where the the file is actually getting extracted and sent to the OneDrive folder. We are also creating a, a task within Wonderlist as well. So the next step will be click the plus sign, add an action, and I'll say uh, create a task. Okay, so within a Wonderlist, I'm creating a task here, and uh, I'll say and so. In Wonderlist, I have so many lists that I can create, right? So I have one called work there, and I want this new task to be created within work. So I choose the list, and then I can give the task uh, a title as well. So I can call it, uh, let's say, new task from, and this is just an example, uh, and we'll say the sender of the email, okay? And this is it. So our flow is ready now. Um, just to reiterate, on a new email from this specific person, uh, get the email attachment and move them to uh, uh, a specific folder within OneDrive. And you know everyone has access to that OneDrive. And we are also creating a task uh, every time we get an attachment from this person. So here I can say, I can give this a name. Uh, extract attachments from Venkat and create a wonder list task saved. All right, so let's see how this flow uh, does uh, when we receive an, an, a new email from a specific email address, right? So here's my um, email that I'll be sending an email from so I'll send it to the other account which is right here and I'll say new image for website okay so here I will be adding an attachment and let's say it's this one right here okay so I let's say I want to have this image on our website so I'm gonna send this to my project team uh, so I'll say open so that it gets attached and let's just add hello There's the new image for the website something like that right and then we hit send um, let's give it a few seconds here uh, perhaps 30 seconds to a minute uh, I'm going to switch back to my other inbox 
Okay, well, we have the email already in here. So this is the email that we just received. And uh, now Flo should know that, you know, it received an email from this specific email address and this email has an attachment. So this attachment will be, if the flow succeeded, this attachment will be extracted and moved to that one specific folder, right? So if I go into my uh, Venkat project files uh, folder, uh, currently I have just these two images and let me just go ahead and refresh it. Um, there we go. So here's our extracted folder uh, I'm sorry, extracted file from the email. Again, I didn't do anything manually. Uh, Flow just detected that there was an attachment and it moved that attachment to this specific folder. Uh, now, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, this folder ca can be accessed by several people. So you don't have to uh, forward that email to uh, all the people and, uh, uh, you know, uh, explicitly share it with other people. The flow just does it for you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about forwarding emails or making sure that uh, have, uh, other people in your team received uh, those emails with, uh, with attachments, etc. The third thing we're going to do is uh, we look at the wonderless task that was uh, uh, that should be created, right? So here, let me just go into my uh, wonder list right here. Okay, all right, sorry, I didn't sign in earlier. Okay, so there's that. I hope I remember my password. Okay, so as you, if you remember, it was the work to do list that we uh, uh, we had added the task to, and this is the one that just got created. Okay, so it came from uh, this email address, and the title of the task is the subject of the email actually. So this is what we had set up in our flow and it has worked. So again, uh, so our flow, if you look at it, wherever it went, uh, so you know, it received an, a, a new email from a specific person. It it checked if it had uh, an attachment or not. Uh, since it found an attachment, it moved that file to a specific folder and also created a wonderless task. Full automation right here.